Hey, it's Tim Estrell, Pickup Truck Plus SUV Talk. Today, I'm in Virginia. I'm in a forest. There's mud. There's dirt trails. I got compact SUVs galore. We're having fun. So check it out. As we drive all these different vehicles, we test out how they can do on the off-road course, we'll go over some massive rocks, go through some water, and get them extremely dirty. Here we are at the 2018 Trail Trek Tour. We're doing a compact crossover challenge. We have a Mazda, which is a sponsor, which I'm wearing the hat. I'm in the Honda CRV. We have a Volkswagen, Tiguan, Jeep, Cherokee, Honda, Kona, Mazda, C well, the Mazda CX-5. Um, what else we got? Toyota RAV4 Adventure. Uh, Honda Kona, I think I already said that. Something else, I can see them in front of me. I'm behind the line, there's a really cool Jeep behind me too. I'll be doing a video on that one later. Uh, this We're doing the off-roading. We're in the George Washington National Forest or something like that, outside of Woodstock, Virginia. Uh, these uh, SUVs are holding their own on this uh, rather rugged trail. I mean, it's it's not we're not rock crawling up the side of some place in California. It's definitely not the Rubicon Trail, but it's pretty gnarly, and it's a pretty good test of what these compact SUVs can do if you need them to. Now, yes, they're all grocery gunners, grocery go-getters, they're all mommy's cars, but you know, they don't have to be. Uh, you can get them dirty. You can go off-roading with them. You know, it's, we brought this morning a Toyota RAV4 in the adventure package, won an off-roading race. So uh, we're on a championship si series of off-roading racing. So they are capable. Uh, we're having a good time, as usual, getting muddy, playing in the mud. It did rain overnight. We have cool overcast skies, uh, cool temperatures, overcast skies. It's gonna stay muddy all day. And uh, we're gonna switch vehicle to vehicle. And so far, the CRV is doing a heck of a job. It's nice and comfortable in here too. This is the Touring Edition, $35,000. We do have some uh, good approach and exit angles. And uh, it's been a nice ride. I drove from the airport from Dulles out to this location. Um, average fuel economy is 30 miles per gallon. And I laid into it a little bit. So it's, it's, it's a nice ride. It's a, definitely, this is definitely something you should be doing. This is a lot of fun, different driving experience, different thing to do it during the day instead of sitting around watching TV all day. So get out, enjoy your trails. I'm gonna get out and switch some other vehicles and I'm gonna bring you another vehicle here in a minute. All right, here we are in the 2018 Mazda CX-5. We're doing the 2018 as well, trail track tour here in Woodstock, Virginia. We're doing some off-roading. This is another vehicle I've gotten into today. Um, it's pretty gnarly off-roading here. A lot of big rocks, lots of elevation kind of changes as far as the rocks and hills and all sorts of stuff. And I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed so far by the CX-5. It's holding its own. Went through a pretty gnarly section back there that the other vehicle got stuck in, unnamed vehicle and uh or mostly stuck so it's just it's it's a 
pretty darn capable. I was a little concerned with the front overhang, but you know, it's it's handling it really well. It's it's not having any issues. Uh, plenty of horsepower and torque to get up these uh, little climbs here. And even though I don't have like a straight like all-wheel drive mode or even a drive mode, I just have sport basically and manual gears. Um, there's there's really no issues. I do have trail control, traction control off, so the wheels are spinning by them, you know, as independently. And um, yeah, yeah, we're gonna keep driving. I'm gonna get into a bunch of new vehicles today. We're gonna see how they do on the uh, off-roading. We're gonna compare them back to back, the back to back, the back the back there's seven of them i think eight and uh, we're gonna keep having fun i love getting mu muddy and mazda while well, i'm wearing the hat is a sponsor and don't give me any grief uh leave the comments alone or send hate mail to timpickuptrucktalk.com i love reading hate mail All right, now I've moved up to another vehicle. I'm in the 2018 VW Tiguan. This is the new, newly redesigned version. This actually has a third row as well. I'm in the SEL Premium Edition. It's four motion, four-wheel drive. Four motion, all-wheel drive, excuse me, all-wheel drive. Um, it, it's got plenty of capability. I've been really impressed. We have 7.9 inches of ground clearance. It's handling the trail really well. The suspension's smoothing stuff out, and it's doing great. I have 26 degrees of entry level. The, angle on the front and I have 23 degrees on exit departure angle on the back that means how much room I have before I start hitting the bumpers as I go over objects uh, again 7.9 percent or 7 7.9 inches of ground clearance I do have hill descent control on it kind of holds me up from getting too fast and it kind of just walks me down the hill um, it's doing a great job on the trail this is one of the more expensive vehicles we're testing today at 41,245 but it's pretty comfortable and a typical vw fashion i will talk about the interior is that they do have more of a simplified interior than the other vehicles have um it's very much to me it's very german it's very simplistic to the point um not a whole lot of bling inside but i'm okay with that i think you know sometimes inside can get too soft and too too luxurious looking and it's more stuff's gonna break so i, I overall i'm really impressed with this what this tiguan's able to do on this trail and I'm going to hop into the Jeep Trailhawk next, and we'll see how that does. On this 2018 Trail Trek Tour Compact Crossover Challenge. All right, we're in a 2019 Jeep Cherokee Trailhawk. It's a lead edition. It has four-wheel drive, 271 horsepower, 239 pound-feet of torque. We have 17-inch aluminum t wheels. This is probably the most capable compact SUV we're driving out here today. 8.7 inches of clearance, 29.9% with 29.9 degrees of departure. 8.7 inches of clearance, 29.9 degrees of entry egg entry angle on the front 32.2 degrees departure angle in the back granite crystals are exterior color coming at 41,245 I do have four-wheel drive low I have different drive modes hill descent control going down I got hill ascent going up I got a locking rear differential I'm using none of that stuff I'm just driving the Jeep is really capable and doesn't need anything so I, I do have the sand mud mode engaged I have auto snow sport sand mud and rock as far as my driving modes and uh, again the Jeep doesn't need it this thing is a, a pretty beastly vehicle as far as it's it's the mix between a, a everyday driving SUV and something you want to take off-road um, I have heard a little concerns from other journalists about the knobby noise of the tires I've driven it I don't think it's that big of a deal I've driven it on highways um, but I guess I could see that if you're really in tune to 
the wheel whine. As you get more knobby tires, you tend to get more whine as they go around. Um, overall, I, I'm a big fan of what Jeep's doing here. I think they've taken the SUV, they've combined it with the four-wheel drive, with their Jeep four-wheel drive systems, and they've built a vehicle that's, uh, you know, it can do both. It can do this trail, it can go to the store and go shopping. So fits both areas of life pretty well. Um, again, a big fan of it. I uh, have no problems at all. I really like what they've done with this, and uh, we're just having fun with it. I mean, Uh, next vehicle we're testing is the 2018 Hyundai Kona. This is a new subcompact. It's the only subcompact we have out here today. It's just a little bit shorter than the other SUVs. On this one, we've aired down the tires. We're going to be a little more gentle with it. It uh, doesn't quite have the same capability as other vehicles here, but it doesn't mean it can't do the trail. We just got to pick our lines differently. So this, there's some rocks here in front of me, and I got to make sure that I avoid, eh, avoid the best of I can. Whoop. Okay, no problems there. So, uh, you know, what I like about this is it's cheap price point. You know, it, it's going to be a, a... Uh, what I like about this Hyundai is that it's still pretty capable. I mean, it's, it's, yeah, granted, it's not going to do rock crawling like a Jeep regular will. But I'm not really having a whole lot of problems with it. I just got to be very careful. I pick, out, pick my lines, like I said, and just got to make sure that I drive a little bit more... I guess defensively, but also keep my momentum up. That's one of the big things off-roading is you just can't start and stop, start and stop, start and stop. You lose a lot of traction. So I'm giving the vehicle in front of me lots of space. Yeah, there's an uphill here, so I'm sitting back a little bit. I'm gonna make sure I have a good run at it and make sure I get to the top. Not that I'm goosing the gas and gonna go ahead and fly up the top of the hill, but just I'm gonna keep it rolling and get to the top here. So, you know, overall, it, it's, it's interesting to have a vehicle such as this here doing this kind of trail because this is definitely not what you think about doing with a subcompact car, a uh, subcompact SUV, but we're keeping up just fine. And I am pretty darn impressed by what this Hyundai is able to do. All right, we're going to get off again here in the 2018 Kia Sportage XX S X all-wheel drive. Um, we had a little issue with the tire. Um, the RAV4 did not seem like it held up. And so we're getting back on the road. Had a kind of a really cool situation happen. We had to, a bunch of guys behind us came up and just kind of talked and checked it out and then the trail. Uh, so here we go. I got the sheet on this one. The... Uh, Kia 2.0 liter four-cylinder turbo, 237 horsepower, 260 foot-pounds of torque, 19 inch alloy wheels, alloy wheels, 6.8 inches of ground clearance, 28 degrees as far as entry um, angle, sorry, 24.6 degrees exit angle departure. Uh, 36 420 for this. This is, I believe the fully loaded. I don't know for sure. Um, what's really interesting about this versus say the Hyundai that I just drove a few minutes ago. Um, this is just longer, and I don't know that it does as well as the Hyundai Kona, um, which is interesting, because you would think that it would, but um, you know, it's just, it's just a situation where the uh, longer wheelbase doesn't help it, and the, I don't know, it just it doesn't seem like it's as solid, which is interesting. So I'm surprised about that, that but I'm, I'm not surprised about Kia, I mean, it's Kia, has been making a better product year after year after year and i think that this uh 
Sportage, this Sportage, sorry, I'd think about Sorrento or Sportage. Uh, this Sportage is an example of that. I think it's, it's come a long ways, and um, I would buy this. I'd buy it and drive it. You know, it, the materials aren't as nice as the other vehicles that we're driving, but the price is a lot less too. So, I mean, you get that benefit to it. Uh, great warranty on Kia products, and so I'm going to keep driving here. I'm going to have to focus a little bit more on I have in other vehicles because I want to make sure that uh, I don't give a, another blown tire situation. And uh, we're going to move next to the Toyota RAV4. It'll be our last of the seven compact SUVs from today's Trail Track Tour. All right, we just stopped. I got kind of caught up talking to my uh, Corey Prophet from Toyota PR. He actually stepped out um, and did do my video. So we just got finished driving the Toyota 2019 Toyota RAV4. It's the last vehicle today, number seven, 2.5 liter four cylinder engine, 176 horsepower, 172 foot pounds of torque. I guess it works better if I put the camera close to me or the sound close to me. 18 inch alloy wheels, six and a half inches of clearance, 28 degrees entry, 23 degrees exit angles, ruby red pearl, $33,030. Um, you know, I, I have been maybe a little critical on the RAV4 over the years, a little bit, but I do like the direction that this new RAV4 is heading in, um, especially the 2019 as well, the be in the market this fall. Uh, the Adventure is really the direction that these, one of the offshoots of these compact SUVs is going to be the inexpensive buyer, it's going to be the older buyer who just wants a little bit more, uh, sitting up a little higher, and it's going to be a guy who kind of wants a little adventure, a little more play with the SUV, and that's why I think this is a great package. I like direction uh, uh, Toyota's going, Honda's going, I like direction Toyota's going. Um, I just, again, I think they need to keep stepping up their styling game, the reliability's there, um, everything's solid, they just, a little bit more style, I think would go a long way, a little more uh, premium materials would go a long way, but you know, it's hard to, hard to beat. Toyota, as far as uh, vehicles, as far as reliability, as far as dependability, I'm saying vehicles as far as... And the winner of the 2018 Trail Truck Tour is... Doo -doo -doo -doo, the Jeep Cherokee Trailhawk. No real surprise here, that vehicle is built for going off-roading and going to the store. Um, really capable SUV. Uh, I didn't even turn on many of the modes. I didn't need to. Uh, I had more options there as far as off-roading I needed to. This event just really was tailor-made for it. But I don't think that's the big story there. The big story is how well the other vehicles did. So like the VW Atlas, or VW Tiguan, I always call it Atlas. The VW Tiguan did surprisingly well. It was, for many people, it was ranked number one, actually. Um, on Pond Third of for the thought, we had to, you know, switch that around a little bit. It didn't really make sense. But uh, a lot of us were sitting around, the seven judges were sitting around after dinner, and we were just debating it. And it was surprising how well that vehicle did. Um, another surprise to me was a Mazda CX-5. Wow. Wow. Really? Yeah, it's really good off-road. And with no modes. No drive modes like the Jeep Cherokee had. No all-wheel drive selector button. Just uh, really good off-roading. Um, other vehicles, the uh, Honda CRV was pretty good, kind of middle of the road, uh, handled its own, but it just wasn't, that's kind of its terrain, you know, not a big, not a big thing for it to do. Um, I also had the, let's see, I had, oh, uh, the Toyota RAV4, like the direction you're heading, uh, just keeps improving, keeps improving. Uh, the Kia Sportage and the Hyundai Kona, I both had like six and seven. I actually like the Hyundai Kona a little bit better than the Kia Sportage. Um, it got a better score for um, capability, like, really a lot better for capability. I was surprised by that. I thought the Kia would have done a better job in capability. It just did it. So, but those are the results. Uh, it was a really fun event to go to. Really fun to get the judges together and and get different points of view. I, you know, Alex Dykes was there. Sofan Bay was there. Uh, Brian Hurd was there. Uh, the guys, William Bird from Right Foot Down. Um, just a other variety of people were there. Phil Vander Valsen. Vander Boston, I think he's from uh, Ganaxon, was there. Um, a really good time talking to a lot of guys. Uh, Hanson Lukam was there from Shifting Lanes. Uh, good time talking to the guys. It's fun to see how they do their operations, how they, they film stuff, and how they work. So 
but there you go. There's results. It's the first ever Trail Trek tour. Uh, planning on doing some more of those. Um, if they are, maybe I'll get invited. We'll see. Uh, for more Pickup Truck Plus SUV news, make sure you check us out on PickupTruckTalk.com. We're on all social media channels, variations of Pickup Truck and SUV, or Pickup Truck Plus SUV. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you down the road.